Hello Vinyl Community, this is Randy, and this is an entry into Aaron Mutha Alamari's 100 Subs Contest. And in the contest he wanted us to pick out eight bands that had three or fewer studio album releases. And so that's what I'm going to do. First one I'm going to show is an album by a group called Morning Star. They were a pretty hard rocking band out of Kansas City. Um, they signed to Columbia and they made two albums that didn't do a whole lot and, and that's all they ever did. But they had a song called Sunshine Changing of the Season that got a lot of airplay here in Kansas City. Of course they're from here, but I don't know if nationally it got much play or not. That's the first one. Second one is the Dixon House Band. These guys are from Seattle, Washington. Kind of 70s melodic rock, like a little bit of Sticks, a little bit of Kansas. There are songs sooner or later, I guess, got some airplay, but they were only around for this one LP. That's my second one. Another hard rock album with some electronic influences was a group called Balance, which was headed by Pepe Castro of the Blues Magoos. And they had they only had they only had three albums as well. well two in the eighties and then they had a reunion one in two thousand sometimes. But uh, I guess it shows a label on Portrait. That yeah, was Hart's label too, wasn't it? And I guess I didn't show the Dixon House Band's label. I don't. I can't tell what the label this is. Infinity Records. And the next one. A band that got a little notoriety was a group called The Nails. Kind of a new wave band in the 80s. They had a song called 88 Lines About 44 Women, which uh, might not be apropos today, but uh, that was The Nails. And they only lasted for three albums as well. Thank you. Next, I have a group from Britain called Cowboys International. And I guess they had a hit with Here Comes the Saturday and Pointy Shoes and, Thra and Thrash. I guess got some airplay as well. But uh, they're kind of a uh, new wave, a little bit of electronic, a little post-punk, and they released only two albums, so, and this one is on the, the Virgin label. The next one is, I guess you would call it Cow Punk, it's the group Rank and File. This is the album Sundown. And the song on here I like is The Conductor Wore Black. Amanda Ruth's a good song too, as well as the Rank and File, the title track, or the group's <laughs> title named after their group. Um, and I guess you can see on here that the band included Alejandro Escovedo a famous Texas uh, songwriter that I really like is a solo output. And it's kind of on Slash Records. Anyway, that's Rank and File. And they had only had three albums as well. Cowboy International had two. I don't know if I had said that. 
Next is another group that only had one LP, and that's the group Slick. Uh, maybe because I didn't have a great band name. But actually, Mid Jury, which I'm not sure which one he is on here. Or Mid Jure, and then Yuri. Mid Jure, who went on to form Ultravox, uh, was with this band. And they had, a, I guess, a big hit called Forever and Ever, which topped the UK charts, but it didn't even make the US charts. But they were only around for one album. And they were on Arista. And the last group I'm going to show, they had three albums. And they were out of Wisconsin. And it's the group called E-I-E-I-O. How oh, they never made it with that great name, I don't know. Uh, this is Ain't Love Grand. Or no, that's an X. <laughs> that's an X album. This is That Love Thing by E-I-E-I-O. And this, they only have three albums. This was on Frontier Records. Got a unique label. See it. Anyway, uh, I do like the title track here, that love thing, and Hey Cecile is a pretty good one. But uh, that's it. Congratulations, Aaron, and that is my contest entry. Thank you.